Okay, in a first ever goal for Sheffield United, not a bad place to get it. Tells your thoughts after that. Yeah, it was special. Um, a proud moment for me and my family today. Obviously, scoring my first Premier League goal, but I think the, um, the big thing was just to get the three points today. And um, the gaffer said before we come here, just to believe and fight for each other and um, give everything we can to kind of get a result out there. And I think that's what every one of us did. Talk us through the goal then, because it was a great corner, wasn't it? Right underneath the crossbar, and you got there ahead of the goalkeeper. Yeah, well, we worked on it this morning, doing set plays, and we just said kind of get around the keeper, make it uncomfortable for him, and um, fortunately it fell to me and it, it went in. And to get this start today, you know, you've had one or two appearances this season. You know, it's been a good season for you in terms of breaking into this side, but to start at Old Trafford, that's on a different level. So that, that must have been a wonderful experience for you. Yeah, it's amazing and obviously a special occasion because um, a, a lot of my family are United fans and I'm from down the road. So um, it is a very special day for me. Um, but as to breaking into the team, um, I spoke before um, about the situation. Obviously, I was behind Jack O'Connell, who's a fantastic player. So for me, it's difficult to kind of... Um, break into the team when the team was doing that as well as it was last season so um, I'm just thankful this year that there's been an opportunity to kind of get some more game time. I don't guess it's for you it's just taking the opportunities when they come along so this will have done you cause no harm. Well yeah definitely um, it's obviously the, the goal helps but um, I think it's more about how I play in, in the position and obviously today I was asked to play left wing back and I'll play wherever it, 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 wherever um, I can across that back line and and I'm just happy that I could contribute today. Tell us what it was like in the dressing room after the game, because I would imagine you know, after one or two difficult moments this season, then that would have been a, a very happy place to be tonight. Yeah, it's, it's a happy dressing room in there, but I'm sure it'll be um, back to the drawing board tomorrow when we get to training and the gaffer will have us preparing for the big game at the weekend and then obviously the, the next game, which is West Brom at home. Um, it's obviously a, a very hard schedule at the moment. We've got a lot of games coming up, so we just need to kind of recover tomorrow and go again for the weekend. You obviously had to come off, so what was it like watching in the last 15 minutes or so as we hung on no, for that It's victory. worse than being out there, I can tell you that. Um, it's, it was nervy when the goal went in, when their goal went in, but um, obviously Berkey stepped up and got us a winner, which was which was good for him as well. From a personal point of view, did you feel you're becoming more and more settled the more game time you're getting in this Sheffield United side? Well, yeah, for any player that um, goes to any football club, you want to be playing football, so... For me, obviously, as, just, as I just said before, it was a difficult situation um, when I was behind Jack O'Connell because we all know how good he is. But now it's um, time to step up and show what I can do. Four wins from five. There does seem to be some momentum building now. I know it's a tough game on Saturday, but it looked like you're going to make a real fist of it in the second half of the season now. Yeah, well, we've just got to fight for every game. Obviously, we knew it was going to be a difficult challenge coming here tonight. We know on Saturday it's going to be a difficult challenge, but... Um, like I said earlier in the interview, it's the gaffer tells us to fight every game. Um, you're in every game, that's why we're in this league. We deserve to be here. Um, obviously, the season's points tally isn't good enough and we need to try and work to better that, but hopefully things can start to change now. I'm sure you'd have liked that in front of a full house here at Old Trafford, but still, for all the Blades fans watching at home, that'll have come with some real comfort after a tough season. Yeah, obviously, football's just not the same without fans, but um, at least it's it's still going. Um, I'm sure we all still want it to go ahead, even though the fans can't be here. We're going through a difficult time at the moment in the world, um, but hopefully um, the, the fans will be back very soon. And who will you be speaking to now after after this interview? I'm sure there'll be one or two people from home um, who want to get in yeah, touch. Yeah, I've already sent my girlfriend a message, um, and obviously I'm going to speak to my family and obviously enjoy the moment tonight.